the demonstration that I'm going to do now is P13 panel. In P13, we have got flip flop, counter, shift register, experiment. Correct. Let us understand the block. Let us understand the different blocks given in this P13 panel. John's counter experiment is there, pink color. Binary counter experiment in pink color block. There is SR flip flop in cream color. Another one is shift register experiment is also provided. External power supply we have to give 5 volt. An external clock input is also has to be given to this circuit. Correct? This is the manual for P13 flip flops, counter, and shift register experiment. The contents are introduction given, study of SR flip flop, study of D flip flop, study of T flip flop, study of JK flip flop, study of master slave, JK flip flop, study of binary counter, shift register, review questions. So many things are given in this small. Uh, small circuit. I'm going to perform two experiments here study of SR flip flop, and the another word is study of D flip flop. For study of SR flip flop, this is circuit diagram 74L00 IC. We have used high and low gates, high and low signals we have to provide. The clock signal also has to be given, and this is the lamp driver L1 and L2. Correct, two LEDs are used in this circuit. Let us do the wiring sequence of this circuit. SRS flip-flop. 5 volt is connected to socket 3. <coughs> this is by 5 volt and this is connected to socket number 3. Ground is connected to 4. This is the ground and this is connected to socket number 4. These are the external power supply. Using a small patch code, I have to short 39 and 42, socket number 39 and 42. This is our 39 and this is my 42. 36 is connected to socket 6 or socket 35. <coughs> this is my 36. It is either connected to high or low. High is this one, 6. All these are high tags, high signal tags, and low are these tags. Correct? Either I can connect to here or here as per the circuit. So right now I am connected to socket number 6. 48 is connected. 48 is R of this experiment. This is 48R, 48SR flip-flop, R, reset R means reset, set reset. 48 is connected to high or low, that is 15 or 14. I am right now, I am connected to socket number 41. A manual pulser is also required to perform this experiment. It is connected to socket number 2. The manual pulser is here on the DIO card. It is connected to socket number 2. It is clock pulse. You have to apply clock pulse. <coughs> 4340. This is my 43. And this is my 40. I am connecting it to the LEDs for the output. Or to the output section I am connecting. 49 and 46. This is the output section. This blue block is the output. So many 4 LEDs are provided to indicate the status, to indicate the output status. This is table 2.1, truth table observation for SR flip-flop. Clock we have to apply from here, SR and the output is Q, Q bar. The answer for this table 2.1 is given at the back side of this manual. This is 
we will perform this experiment now. I have done the I have done the wiring sequence. I will switch on the unit. Clock is zero. I'm not applying any clock right now. S is any state. R is any state. Q will be zero. Q is here and this is Q bar. Q is here and this is Q bar. Correct? LED one is Q. LED two is Q bar. The first condition is we have met the first condition. Second condition. Clock has to be applied. S is zero. This is my S. It is already sorry, it should be in zero. I have connected it in high tag. I will connect it to low tag. Correct? Zero. R is also zero. S and R both are zero. Correct? Here it is high tax and here it is low tax. Blue color are high tax and pink color is low tax. Both are put in zero state. What is the output? Same output you will get. Second condition we are going to do is S is zero, R is zero. Correct? So the output is Q is zero, low state, and Q bar is one. So LED is LED one is zero and LED two is one. Correct? Second condition we have studied. The third condition is one zero. S should be one. S should be made as high. This is S, it should be made as high. R is zero. And R is zero. So what is the output state? You can see one and zero. The first one is Q is showing one and Q bar is showing zero correct and the fourth condition is like this s should be zero s is zero r is one and just apply one clock pulse zero one and the final condition is one 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 you have to apply one clock pulse s is one r is one and s r one one s is one R is 1. So you can see both conditions, all the four conditions has been studied in this SR flip-flop experiment. Correct? The next experiment that I am going to perform is study of D flip-flop. Another simple experiment that I am going to do in this P13 panel E study of D flip-flop. The IC that we have used to construct D flip-flop is 74LS74. The circuit diagram is here. Two LEDs are used to understand the output status here and the wiring sequence. We will go to the wiring sequence right now. 5 volt is connected to 3, socket number 3. So external power supply we have to connect. 5 volt is connected to socket number 3. I have done it. Ground is connected to 4. Manual pulser is connected to socket number 2. A clock pulse we have to keep. This is, these are the pulser circuit. 
on the DIO card. Positive pulse and negative pulse. We have used positive pulse. It is connected to socket number 2. 60 is connected to 40. 40 is the, or the, is the LED driver and 60 is here. This is the D flip flop. I forgot to tell you that this block, small block, is the D flip flop in this P13 panel. I have connected socket number 60 to LED driver 40. 56 to 46. 46 is another, another output to understand the output status and 56 is your Q. Q and Q bar. Correct. 55. 59 is connected to socket number 20. 59 is connected to socket number 20. 20 is your high tag. High means 5 volt we are applying and ground means 0 volt. 55 is connected to 6. 55 is connected to socket number 6. 55. So this is a 55 core connected to socket number 6 and last is 54 15. 54 is here and it is connected to socket number 15. Let us understand the truth table of this experiment. Table 3.1 truth table observation for deep flip flop. Set, reset, clock, D, Q n plus 1 Q bar Q Q bar this is the truth table the answer is given at the back side 3.1 when set is 1 s is 1 I have to make s 1 this is your s set is 1 Reset is 1. We have to apply one clock pulse also to this circuit. I will apply, I will put a ground also. I will connect a ground. D is 1. Yeah. Let me switch on this unit. I have done the connection. S is 1. Reset is 1. I will apply a clock pulse. D is 1. And I will apply a clock pulse here. So it is Q is this one. See Q is one and zero. <coughs> Q is one and Q bar is zero. Second condition is set is one. Reset is one. D is 0. So I will make D to 0. D is here. This I will make to, I will put it to 0. And I, I will apply clock pulse. It is 0, 1. Q0. In this way, we have completed study of D flip flop experiment.